Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a hair color tutorial because a lot of you have been asking about my hair color and I've had the same hair color for over a year now. I've officially gone a year without bleaching my hair, which is very exciting because if you do remember, last summer my hair was very short and very blonde. That was the lightest my hair has ever been and it definitely caused a lot of damage. So after the summer, I decided to go back brunette and really force myself to not bleach my hair for a whole entire year. And I'm actually really happy with the chocolate brown hair color. I think it's really flattering and it's like, I finally found my perfect shade of chocolate. So I have been using the John Frieda Precision Foam Color. This one is in the shade 4BG, which is the dark chocolate brown. It's a really nice deep chocolate with some red in it. And then I usually mix it with 6N, but Target was sold out of 6N, so I got 9N. Um, so I'm really hoping that this still turns out the same. We will see, this might be a huge fail, but uh, 9N is a neutral undertone. So it's not gonna be too orange or too red. It's gonna help kind of cut the red in the 4BG and just make it a little bit more of a all around chocolate rather than leaning super warm. So I unfortunately do not have a window in my bathroom and it's just i feel like it's harder for you to see what i'm doing when i color my hair in the bathroom so i'm gonna do it right out here <laughs> and i put a bunch of old towels around me so i'm hoping that i just don't make an, a huge mess but the great thing about this hair color is because it's a foam uh there's minimal drippage, minimal mess. It's really nice. Boxes come with everything you need. So gloves, and then you have your little developer bottle with your dispensing nozzle. And then you also get hair color and conditioner. I should also let y'all know that my natural hair color is black. Um, I'm half Asian, my mom's Filipino, so I have very dark black Asian hair. And I just like lightening it a little bit. I just think it adds a little bit more dimension and it just warms up my complexion. I just feel like the chocolate brown is really flattering with my skin tone. So I just like a little bit lighter of a hair color. So I have um, the two developer bottles from both colors. I'm just going to mix them together, add it all into one bottle. I'm going to add in the 9N. And then I'm gonna add in the 4BG. So then you reattach the nozzle. And then when you're mixing this color, you don't wanna shake it. You just want to do turns like this. And you'll see the color will start to get fully mixed. I have these little uh, disposable hair capes that I got from CVS. So I'll just put that on. Bottom section down and then all you do is apply the foam. Oh geez. Pray for me because I'm not doing this in my bathroom but I do have that towel underneath me so that luckily the towel just caught all that. So I'm just gonna squeeze some hair color into my palm and then you just start applying it. And you wanna make sure you do get up in that root area as well. So I'll just go like that. I'm telling you, if I filmed this in my bathroom, you would not be able to see anything. It's so dark in there. And then again, more foam. And I'm just gonna run this through. If I wasn't filming a tutorial, I would be watching Real Housewives listening to a podcast, I'd be doing something to entertain myself. But because I'm filming a video, I just have to sit in silence and apply this hair color. <laughs> so I just make sure I always get the root area, but at the end, I really go through and make sure all the roots get colored. Because if I don't get my roots, then you will see like black stripes in my hair because my hair grows out really dark. And then I just let down the last section of hair and I'm doing the same thing. I'm just gonna apply the foam all the way down. 
And honestly, because it's a foam, it's extremely minimal mess. Like there was only that little bit of drippage at the beginning, but it doesn't, you know, fling everywhere and you don't have to worry about staining your bathroom. This is really flattering. <laughs> so now that I've gotten my hair pretty much fully covered with color, what I wanna do is go back in with a little bit more color, make sure everything is completely saturated so that there's no patches. So I'm gonna take a little bit more foam and just like this, I'm gonna massage it into the roots. It's almost like you're shampooing your hair, honestly. Make sure you take a little bit extra foam and really get up in the back of your hair so that you don't have any gaps of color when you're doing like half up, half down styles. Honestly, like I am washing my hair on camera for you. <laughs> that is what it looks like and what it feels like. All right, now that my hair is fully saturated in the color and you can see it looks foamy, that's what you want. You want to be able to see the foam in the hair. If you don't have like a foamy looking hair, it means you don't have enough color. So with this foam hair color, you wanna make sure that your hair looks pretty sudsy like this. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to clip it up and I'm gonna let this process for about 25 to 30 minutes and then I'm going to wash and shampoo my hair like usual. All right, so it's been a few days and I really wanted to let my hair color settle down. I really wanted to wash it a couple times so that you could get the most accurate representation of what the color looks like. I really feel like after about two to three washes, it hits the sweet spot of the perfect chocolate brown, whereas the first wash, it still looks a little bit black. It's quite dark because all the pigments are still you know, really fresh. So this is like my ideal shade of chocolate brown. I like how you get the multi-dimensional strands and it's not all just one, you know, flat shade of brown. I don't have a black root line anymore and it's really just so pretty. It's my favorite, favorite chocolate brown ever. I'm really excited that the number nine N ended up working out because like I said, I do typically do six N but I'm actually super happy with this and I think it looks identical to the way it always does. I color my hair probably about every two months to two and a half months. Sometimes I can stretch it out for three months. And a really great way to keep your color looking really vibrant and punchy is to use color depositing conditioners or glazes. So some of my personal favorites, the John Frieda Luminous Color Glaze, spoken about that many times. Um, DP Hue makes a really great one as well. And then Goldwell has one too. I use all three of those brands. They're all in my shower. I don't like bringing stuff out of the shower because I just don't like the water and it just, you know what I mean? But you've seen me talk about all of those on my channel before. So that's what I would recommend in between colors. If you start noticing it fading, just start using color depositing conditioners, maybe once a week, twice a week, depending on your hair type. Um, and the other thing I really want you to take into consideration is your starting hair color. The hair color is gonna look a little bit different depending on what your base color is and what you're starting with. So if you have a similar hair color to mine, you'll probably get like this exact same result. Whereas if you have um, a lot lighter or a lot darker, it could vary in the way the color is gonna look as the final result. I think that's everything I wanted to hit in this tutorial. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And like I said, this is the exact color combo, minus it being 9N, I typically use 6N. Um, this is the exact color I've had all for since last August. So when you see it in its different stages where it starts fading or it's a little bit darker, it's always been the same color. It just looks different throughout the stages that I have it. And it does fade a little bit more on the ends of my hair because that's where all that underlying blonde pigment is. So a lot to say in this one. Um, I really hope you found it helpful please be sure to check the description box because I'll have links and more information and just all the stuff that I used in the video. And please come follow me on Instagram as well. I'd also love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. But other than that, I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys.